Hey guys and gals, and welcome to your lesson on GitHub. We're talking about the Facebook for programming. GitHub is where we're gonna store all our coding data and where we're gonna share our products for others to see and for others to collaborate with. And I'm gonna show you today how to first make your own GitHub account for free and also how to set up your first initial repository, again, for free. So the first thing we wanna do when we get to the github.com page, we wanna first make a username. Then we're gonna make an email and a password. And once you make all these, all you have to do is press sign up for GitHub, and just like Facebook, you're in. Since I already have a GitHub, I'm gonna click sign in. I already have my username, it's my email, and my password is something you won't wanna know. <laughs> so now we're on the homepage for GitHub. And there's a lot of stuff you wanna see here that you're not gonna use right away, but what we wanna start with is create new and new repository. This repository is gonna be where you store all your programming files. So I'm gonna call this teaching coding to my students. Then I'm gonna give that a description saying, I am storing my lessons here. I'm gonna make it public so all you guys can see it, and I'm gonna create this repository. So now we have a bunch of code that we don't wanna really care about except for these last two lines. So we see get remote at origin and a whole bunch of other text. We're gonna copy that and I'm gonna show you guys how to use it in a minute. So now we're gonna jump to our terminal. I'm still using Cloud9, so you guys can use any terminal you want. It'll do the same exact thing. I'm in my workspace folder where I have all my coding projects and I'm gonna first write git init. What this does is initialize a git repository inside of this folder, which basically connects this to git. Now I'm gonna say git status and this allows me to see all my files that I have in this folder. And as you can see, they're all red because they're not inside the repository yet. So I'm gonna say git add. And when I say that, all my files get added. So if I say git status again, I'm gonna see they're all green because they've all been added to the repository. So now I actually want to push these up to the internet. The first thing I wanna do is say git commit. This means that everything I have right now, I wanna push up. So I use dash m to leave a message for myself so I know what I'm pushing up. So I'm gonna say, my students' projects are being stored. And there it is, all my projects have been stored inside that repository. So now to actually push it up to the internet, I wanna use that first line from earlier, get remote at origin, and press enter. Since there is nothing after that, I can see that nothing went wrong, which is a good sign. Now I wanna go to get the next line, which says git push origin master. This now says I want to take everything from this repository inside this terminal and push it up to the internet. So now when I copy and paste that, I just add, they ask me for my username, which I'm going to put my username. Don't laugh, I had, this is my Xbox code, so it's, eh, it's old. And then I'm going to put my password, which you can't see because it's trying to give me some security. And now I can see everything has been pushed up. Now when I go back to GitHub and I refresh this page, I can see all my files have been added into my repository. That's a simple way to make a repository in GitHub, and that's how you can get started storing your code. I hope to see you guys on GitHub soon. This is Antonio, and I'll see you next time.